Hello everybody and welcome to Slay the Spire, playing as a silent on Ascension 11, which says fewer potion slots, and Ascension level I was not looking forward to. I think the loss of a potion slot hits very hard. So much harder than having to carry around Ascension's Bane, in my opinion. Alright, so we're going to be facing off against Slime Boss. 1-2, burning, 3-3-3... Three, three, three. Two over here, really sharp if we take that. Hallway fights at the end. And if we don't want burning, we can take either of these and still get two. This one has a campfire. So it looks like all the best routes have shops early. No gold here, but we do have that. Could uh, come up through here. Oh, wow. We could potentially snipe two elites, including a burning. Now, having this many random events means we're likely to have a hallway fight at some point. Well, let's see how it goes. It's always a good one to take anyways. These first few fights are quite boring. And this way you can get through without the chip damage. Get your card deck souped up a little bit. Got a potion right away, though not the greatest of ones couple of uncommons here, but Dagger Throw is the better pick, I think. It is Strike Plus, says draw, so it offsets its own impact in the deck. And doubles our discard. I don't think the path we're taking is a shot path. Do we go this way just to take the curse and get the extra gold? Probably not, right? Because it's 175. 75 goes to removal, so that still doesn't put us at 300. I think we'll just go about our way and be glad that it wasn't a uh, hallway fight. I think we can afford this. We are heading towards multiple elites, but there's a chance we snipe them. And we were forced to take a shop anyways, where we are going to lose out on Tinksha. Hmm. We could do a card removal and footwork, or we could do dagger throw and footwork. Um, generally speaking, I would say the card removal is probably more important. If we needed the discard, that would be one thing. But neutralize is a really good card early on, and then of course if we get footwork, we increase our chances of drawing it if we remove a card. So, I think that is a good course of action. It's a little too quick soon for the footwork, but that is definitely a card that will be good for us in the long run. What do we get here? Boot. Okay, well, I'm glad we got it on our first fry. Uh, boot is like Nemesis, and then, of course, as the silent, things like Shiv and Neutralize do very well. Um, in fact, because we have the boot... Upgrading Neutralize only upgrades the duration of weak. I think that's still the play here, better than Footwork. Because like I said, it is too soon for Footwork. And Neutralize being two... Two turns is very good. I think like Lagable and the attacks in twos. Alright, so we took Gremlin Knob down. Bird Face Urn. Alright, so now we have some sustain. I like it. Blade Dance plays very well with the boot. Um, Sneaky Strike was an option. It's one of those cards that I don't like to take, but whenever I do, I usually can make good use of it. This is atrocious. Oof, we could have taken that accuracy. Or Leg Sweep, or Dagger Spray. Uh, Alright. Well, it wasn't a hallway fight, so we do get to snipe. Pen Nib also plays well with Blade Dance. We get to snipe the Burning Elite for the run, so that's pretty rare, I would say. We'll just shiv them out. Bang, bang, bang. Strawberry. Alright. Gives us more room to do our Tropic Brew. It's taunting me. <laughs> Second Blade Dance or Accuracy. That is a tough call. This obviously plays well with Bird Faced Earned. It is mitigated somewhat by the boot, whereas the boot is currently adding one to our shivs. 
This adds four, so it'd be like it only adds three since we already have the boot. Uh, but sometimes that's helpful. I mean, the boot still has value if you're like clipping armor off and stuff. Whereas Blade Dance plays nicely with pen nib and boot. Um, at the end of the day, I think I'm going to go with the accuracy over the Blade Dance just because it is uncommon. We're more likely to see more of these. Although I think we've seen both, two of both of these. I, I think I still like the accuracy better. It makes shivs more fun to play, if nothing else. Hey, look at that. We're still in our easy fights. Uh-huh. All right. Well, this is healing. Healing. That leaves us with one energy, so we can... Weaken for the most possible, and then just block what we can. So we take five, we healed four. Not bad, not bad. This is somewhat bad. Uh, 21, though. What we can do is... If we do this, we break that, and now this hits as if it says 10, because of the boot. And then, so that's, ooh, these are not doing 4, okay. So this is lethal. Nice! Thank you, accuracy. Glad I took it. Cloak and Dagger! Plays well with the accuracy and the pen nib. And look at that, pen nib is active. Speaking of Lagavulin, I found him. Healing. Uh, because we wasted energy on that. Do we bother opening up now? This is our hardest individual hitter, is my thought process. Okay. Um, I'm glad. The other thing on my mind was the fact that neutralize hits better if it's on a turn he's attacking so if we drew it next turn and then that was the turn we were waking it up we would be wasting part of it of course we still could overshoot the first turn but anyways so this will be doing 15 that's just our best option so let's go for it all right we did get the footwork into play so our block cards are worth more which means if we do find the neutralize, and we did. And it's good that we did, because we are very late on block cards here. A little bit of healing there. I'm just going to do what we can here. Take eight. Healed four. That's not so bad. The weakness persists in the two turns we need it most. Very good. Um, yeah, we got enough block, so we'll do 24 this time. There. Ooh. Alright. Well, that's actually kind of good because uh, he will be attacking next turn. So. Might not be able to finish him off this turn. Oh, might not have a choice. Might not have a choice. Uh, let's just block what we can here. And then hopefully we can just go for the throat next turn. Yeah, this is 15. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, it's not. Okay. Forgot about the uh, accuracy. Stone Calendar. Which I actually don't mind seeing because we're up against the slime boss. Sometimes that's what you rely on. Tools of the Trade allows us to cycle to our shiv card sooner. It is itself a power. Increases our discard capabilities if that becomes a thing. I just like it. Plus, it costs zero once we upgrade it. Indeed. Alright, so we have two upgrades. And for the hallway fight, perhaps Cloak and Dagger is better, and then we'll hit Tools of the Trade before the boss. Seems good. This will be a shorter fight, so the extra shiv. Hey, we're still in our easy pool. That's awesome. Okay, so heal block block is the most mitigation we can muster with that hand. In fact, it's 12 to 12, so... Now we 
have the tools of the trading place, so we can weed through this weaker stuff. Sadly, it's not enough to... Hey, Pennib is live. For better or worse. Because this is the last fight before the boss. I'd rather carry the Pennib into the boss. and then 6-6, six, six, 24. We have lethal, but we wouldn't be able to heal, which is fine because we would not be able to full block anyways. Yeah, okay. We got the pen up to two. I guess it's okay. <laughs> nah, I mean, choke plays nicely with shivs. But not as nice with pen nib. Well, it's a double-edged sword. It doesn't very do very good at beefing up pen nib, but it does an okay dumping it. I think we're fine. We got our scaling block, scaling attack, block card, some cycle to get through. We're doing all right. <clears throat> Could take the poison stab. I just don't see the need to. Since we have accuracy, let's keep the deck relatively thin, with the idea being we get back around to our shift cards that much quicker. Is my thought process. Okay, we're not going to pen nev, so we can do that. Blade Dance Dagger Throw would be the ideal hand here. Okay. Got halfway there. We don't actually want the blade dance now because we can put these powers into play. Weakness on the turn he's going to be uh, attacking us is good. We also have the footwork in place. So we might just tank this hit because it doesn't look like we're going to get a favorable split right now. Okay, heal. Block as much as we can, which is actually pretty good. Pen nib. Hey, look at that. Nice. We took him right to the line. We were already in planning on tanking. Health still quite good for the act. Thank you, Birdface Urn. Alright. Lots of shivs. That will make for a very good split. Yes, indeed. 33 is not bad at all. Means we only have to do 17 to the mid-bodies to force a split. Yeah, it's a good thing too, because we have damage incoming. A lot of damage incoming. Mm. Okay, all we can do is go with our biggest stuff. Could have played a third block there, rather than the dagger throw. I was just looking at exchange rates. I'm not too worried about this. We are going to heal 75% of the deficit back, and then Bird Face Turn can kind of like help us from there. It does suck here that we. Oh, whoops! That was a misplay on my part. Thankfully, it's not going to matter here. Could have drank that to stop the frail. Don't know how necessary it is now that we're down to just the one target. <laughs> two energy each. Oh, calendar. I was just going to say that the split actually gives us a chance to buff the pen nib. Not the case. Uh, probably skip Gambler's Brew. This is a semi decent potion at the beginning of Act 2. Corpse Explosion. We do not have AoE. That is one weakness. And this is our best version of AoE. With single target implications. Let's take a look at this. Uh, we've upgraded two of our starter cards and removed one. Meanwhile, we do have tools of the trade, dagger throw. So I think this is kite. And that is going to do it for Act 1. Thank you guys for joining me. Especially thank you for your patience in my downtime. I have uh, started a new job. I'm working 12-hour shifts for the first time in my life. So adjustment period, sleep schedule, all that good stuff. So appreciate that patience. Uh, please leave any comments you have down below, and I'll see you guys in the next act. Take care.